Hello everyone and welcome to another instalment of Engine Snacks. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we are taking a look at a game between Arasan and Koi Visto at the TCC Season 22 League 3. Um, been very very exciting so far and uh, Sia, uh, Koi Visto and Berserk um, are well running away with it really um, and uh, it's kind of a shame that only two of those top three engines are going to be able to qualify, but uh, we'll see which ones it ends up being. Um, Koi Visto has looked very impressive so far. And here we see it black against Arasan. Um, the opening was a Vienna uh, game, not fantastic for White, but it looks as if White's um, uh, sort of got out of things okay. Um, nearly castled, next move is going to be Castle's Kingside. Um, yeah, if you're playing uh, just normally and positionally, you'd say for black, maybe something with c5, oops, knight c6, coming to c6, then the bishop comes to f5, get some pressure on the d-pawn, but it's just, uh, you know, slightly better for black, nothing amazing. Um, what Koi Visto does, though, is play one of those, uh, yeah, incredible, really specific engine moves that just uh, turns a, a sort of normal-looking position into, uh, yeah, something very, very fraught. And, uh, well, I think anyone who's played training games against uh, engines can uh, uh, can sympathise with what happens to Arasan. Because G5 comes along. That's a hell of a move. Um, what's the idea? Well, the idea is that um, um, before White uh, gets his uh, position in order by castling kingside, black is striking. And uh, it didn't really feel like there was any real way to strike at the white position. But this one's pretty strong hitting two minor pieces along the way, attacking the knight on f3. And this knight doesn't really have a good square. Knight h4, queen h5 just picks up the knight. There's absolutely nothing you can do about that. Um, knight e5 is, uh, I, I guess, uh, the, the best move, really. But um, we're just taking on g2, rook f1. You'd really need to castle queenside in reply to that, you know, in order to... Uh, in order to have any sort of um, uh, um, yeah chance of not being worse, really. And then knight c6 is the key idea. Um, if you take on f7, then bishop e6, knight h6 check, king g7, queen d2. You know, that knight, is it going to be a strength or a weakness? Well, black's got actually quite a surprising idea. Uh, you just go rook f8 to cover the f5 square. And after castle queenside, you go queen h3, get the queen to safety, and actually this knight on h6 is trapped. I think this is the, uh, you know, the key point, and possibly this was, you know, it's in this sort of area that uh, that Arasan missed something. Um, so after knight c6, you have to take uh, on c6, and then black's got a couple of good ideas. B take c6 is uh, is quite tempting, it must be said. Rook f2, queen d5. And then, um, well, you know, you're going to be coming with moves like bishop f5, rook b8. Um, and, um, yeah, it's not actually not even going to be safe for uh, for white to castle queenside, not with a, a, the queen on d5 attacking the pawn on a2. So, um, uh, yeah, really, really dangerous, this. So, well, Arasan actually played probably the move that... Um, uh, that uh, that I would have played too, just sacrificing the piece and hoping for compensation. I mean, uh, you do see these sort of king's gambits where where this is the case, but actually Koi Visto just managed to uh, to neutralise this very very easily. Um, swapping off the dark squared bishops is pretty good, of course. Yeah, this bishop. Yeah, you, you don't really want it pointing over here, do you? You'd really want it pointing over to the king side, really. Bishop h5, rook e7, rook f3, king f8. You know, a couple of um, of specific moves, keeping the queen not you know not trying to run away, but just keeping the queen annoyingly active. Bishop b2, bishop b6, queen c2, queen h6, and knight d7 to follow. And um, you know, blacks uh, developed and uh, and just basically getting in there. And uh, Corvisto won very easily. So um, yeah, I mean, do watch out for these things in your own games. These uh, you know, there's uh, if there's a moment. Uh, where you say, yeah, the opponent isn't quite ready yet, he hasn't finished his development, then, uh, yeah, take a look at um, at some violent options too. You know, the last opportunity you have to um, disrupt the opponent's position before he completes his development. And, uh, well, here this, um, yeah, very concrete and very uh, powerful idea, G5 to G4, did just the business. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks for watching.